Hello, everybody, and welcome to Firefighting Simulator The Squad. This is my first look at the game. We're going to be playing the first mission, and then we're going to join the Northern Alex and play some multiplayer here in Firefighting Simulator. I've been watching this one for a while, and I'm very, very excited uh, that I get to play this early. It comes out tomorrow. If you want to check it out on Steam, I'll have a link for it in the description below. Dispatch to Unit 1. The fire has spread to the roof of the house as well as an adjoining room. Backdraft potential in the area. Use extreme caution. A secondary unit is on site providing water coverage for the burning roof. The evacuation status of the house is still unknown. All right, so we're on our way to our first fire here, and I got to say one thing right out of the gate is that, wow, that's a decent siren, is that not? That sounds like a really good siren for a game like this. Sounds like a smart siren, actually. There's the smoke up there. We can see that. Uh, we got oh, police. Oh, look at those things. They're like Land Rovers. Begin line establishment. Look at that. This is beautiful. I have not seen this yet. I'm really excited to check this out. Look at the water on the ground. Look at the fire. And look at the guys walking around. This is amazing. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this. They got water already all over this building. And look at that fire, man. That looks great. Got a trampoline in the front yard. Can we jump on the trampoline? I want to do that. Dude, that's one thing I haven't seen before. Look at those puddles of water on the ground. That's so cool. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to get rid of this music, okay? We discover someone is trapped in the bedroom. Get that person out of there. Get in the house. All right, we're on our way. Look at the, me oh, the mechanics aren't too bad. Look how smooth that is, dude. That is smooth. That's real smooth. What's going on, man? All right. Take this halligan tool. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Uh, breach lock door. Missing tool. You just got to click and hold and hold, hold the buttons to, to do that, it looks like. Because if you just click... I'll show you what I'm talking about. You just click, it just barely does it. So you can't hit E, it just lights up blue. You have to hold it. I must have broken my leg or something. Oh, whoa, dude. We are a true American hero. Look at this. Look at this. We're carrying somebody out of a burning building. Okay. Loud noise and it was like an explosion, possibly. We have to put him on the stretcher itself. Uh, yes, we do. Bring incapacitated in victims here. Okay. We'll take it from here. Objective complete. Grab the nozzle and fight the fire in the garage. All right. Well, let's let's grab a nozzle then, shall we? They're right over here. Uh, we're holding this Halligan tool, though, so. All right, we got the attack line. Look at that. That is super cool. You know, I was reading in the, uh, in the Steam discussions, and... Uh, People brought up a really valid point on that, and that is it's kind of arcadey with these little things that pop up. Uh, and I didn't know what they were talking about until I'm seeing them right now. Uh, but I do agree with that. It would be nice if you didn't, if you had an option to turn those off so you didn't know where the fire was actually at. But then, you know, maybe you would be here forever if that were the case. So I can understand why you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, are there other camera views or anything? I don't know how to do them. Uh, this is the tutorial, obviously, so we're learning together. We are, we are. I hope you guys had a great weekend and happy Monday to you. Look at all these fires, man. This is nice. Let's sweep the line. Sweep the... Oh, that is working. Sweeping that line is working, actually. Pretty darn good. Although, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get people sick. Some people just have that motion sickness thing, you know? I've never had that. I've never had it to where when I watch somebody play a game that it bothers me. But it does for some people, and I respect that. I do, I do. All right. Keep, keep, it, keep it going, man. Keep it going. Dude, I hope this guy has a good insurance policy because this house is gone. Look at that. Oh, sorry. I don't want to hit you in the head <laughs> with that. I was going to say, look at the bursted uh, tires there on that car in the garage. So, yeah, I can see what we people are talking about on uh, in the discussions about these little things. That would be cool if you had an option to turn them off because it would it would bring a challenge for sure. Trying to figure out how to, you know, take the, the fire down. But it's, it's challenging. It's not like it's going out like in two seconds. That's nice. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, originally I was like, man, I don't know about this game whenever it was first, you know, shown on Steam and the uh, the trailer and stuff. Because I was like, I, I don't know. We, we've been burned by so many of these simulator games in the past. Um, so I was like, well, I'm going to wait and see. 
And then uh, my good buddy, the Northern Alex, he started playing it. And I was like, dude, that looks really good. I don't want to waste, you know, I don't, I don't want to, uh, to ruin the surprise for me in this game. So I had to wait. And then uh, I was like, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, won't we? And uh, I'm glad that uh, we did it because, oh, you can crouch down like a, how you're supposed to. I'm being this stupid noob firefighter that's just like, hey, look at me. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just standing up, shooting fire. Whoa, look at that water. That water looks really good too. Oh, are we we're all hung up over here, dude? I'm hung up. Can I, I can't even get up. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, dude. Debriefing, objective complete. Well, it'd be great if I could get rid of this thing. Dropping tool, there we go. All right, we're debriefing. Let's see what this is about. So it's just a very, very quick introduction there. Firefighting simulator, the squad. <laughs> I like what I see here though. I do. That, uh, that turned out to be a lot better, but I saw Astragon and I remembered them from, you know, the bus sim games. So I was like, okay, congratulations. You have successfully completed your first mission. You are now on the interactive city map, the ICM. Here you can select your next mission. Okay, so there's no sandbox mode in this game, which is kind of sad. Uh, there's already the next mission you can select with growing experience. More will be unlocked. That's how that works. Or you can go on uh, line and you can play with friends. Before responding to your next emergency, you should sharpen your skills. No better place to start than the training facility. You can always visit it by selecting it in the ICM. Do you want to take a look at the training grounds now? Uh, no, not right now because we're going to have our... Um, our trainer, the Northern Alex here with us today. So here's the map. And uh, so it's all mission based game. Um, it's not a uh, sandbox like I was talking about, which maybe eventually they'll do that. I don't know. And maybe that's a turn off to some people. Some people want to sit in a firehouse and then respond to calls, but it doesn't bother me so much. It really doesn't. All right. Well, I'm an idiot. And uh, Alex showed me really quickly how I can actually turn off those quench indicators. It's right here. Quench indicator. You just turn it off with the X. Uh, or you can have a quench indicator with numbers. So there's a lot of options here. Um, it looks like they listened to the feedback that were in the discussions. The uh, mission is up. You should okay. be seeing when you click on multiplayer um, or yep, on the I session browser, right there. you should see me. I am connecting. Perfect. This is a mission setup area where you can prepare for an emergency by selecting a fire truck, which you are driving today, by the way. Yes, and we are going to take the T-Rex, my personal favorite. All right. So you're driving, and you've got your uh, wheel set up and everything, so it should be pretty smooth, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should be. We'll see. Oh, that's a cool... Oh, there's the lights and sirens. Nice. All right, so we're on our way now to the fire. And uh, so the Northern Alex is who I'm playing with. If you guys don't know who he is, I don't know how you don't know, but uh, if you're new, check out the links in the description below. Uh, he's uh, about to be a full-time streamer on Twitch. I'll have his Twitch on there. Uh, and you're going to be full-time just as a content creator soon. So I can change the uh, camera view? Yep, with C. Okay, we just took out a sign out. We don't need it, right? No, uh, we don't need that sign. <laughs> I love how it says traffic accident twice. You know, I said this in the uh, intro. I was like, I am really impressed with the sirens. It sounds yeah. like a uh, federal signal smart siren. Kind yeah, of. I had, a, I had a lot of comments though that people don't like the light patterns, and then I had the interview like with the developer. Yep. And he says this is a standard light pattern from Rosenbauer. Like he gave him a spreadsheet they wrote down for every light what it should do. The only thing that they did is slowed it down a little bit. Otherwise, it would have been too hard on. Uh, Oh, people that have that problem with that. Man, look um, at that skybox. Yeah. This and isn't 60, so bad. 60 square kilometers. And if you look over here uh, towards my... To, towards the, uh, towards see the, the fire. left, you can see the fire already. Yeah, that is amazing. Wow. I like cars. It's like AutoZone, but it's a uh, rental car place. Oof. Yeah, six, 60 square kilometers over 5,000 acres, I think, the city. That's amazing. All right, here we go to the left. I love how the AI is, like, stopping for you. That's cool. Yeah, it's I'm actually... I'm pulling over to the side. <laughs> there is... Um, part of this is how fast you respond. So if you want, you okay. can pass the guy in front of you i always let him go ahead of me because he pushes sometimes people out of the way and you don't get the penalty for it okay that makes sense 
Nice. What I'm really looking forward to, and I don't know if you are first person or, se or third person at the moment, but... I'm third person now. I am... Uh, I'm hoping that eventually track IR is a thing, because that would help so much, oh, especially yeah, you'll be able to see a when lot you better. drive first person. All right, almost there. Yep. This is beautiful, though. It looks, it looks like California. Is that what it's supposed to be? Um, they said it's a nondescript city well, yeah, on course. the west coast. So. <laughs> yeah, it's California. <laughs> yeah. Look at those hills. All right, spread to the exterior and the entire front of the house is burning. Evacuation status. Okay. This is cool, man. And yeah, one thing that's really neat is uh, having the ability to control your AI squads. Yes. Oh, it helps so much. It helps so much. Well, I haven't, this is the first time I've gotten to see like the game like in action, besides the introduction. Well, so there she is. She's the life one. Oh yeah! Wow. We got the uh, police Range Rover on scene, and that was like a uh, like a Ford ambulance. All right, so this is where we're supposed to stop. Cool. Fast driving time expired. Whatever yeah, that means. I know. We were a little bit too slow for the fast driving hey, bonus. Oh, gotcha. All right, here we go. All right, so fuse box was the uh, problem here. Oh, the chief's on scene, it sounds like. Hey, if you arrive at a fire scene, normally the captain of the vehicle, which would be in this case you, since you sit on the officer's seat, yep. does the 360. So you run around the building, which, you know what, I'm going to grab a... I'm going to grab an axe. You can tell that I know this little yeah. guy here a little bit now. Let's go. What do you want me to do? Um, just come with me for now, <laughs> okay. because we need to... Whoa, there she goes. Yep. That is amazing. Oh, this is my other guy here. So you right click on him or on where you... Oh, so no, you I, just... I was telling him where to go. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Wherever, you're, wherever your crosshair is pointed, that's where, uh, you have where it go. goes. Okay. So on the 360, we can see that we have two two windows here, no fire showing. We have our electricity right here, if you mm -hmm. want to disconnect that. Yep, will do. And I'm going to have a look into here. If we can help it, we don't breach check. windows yet. Okay. Oh, looks like you can open the window, though. Yes, you can. Uh, and we have one down. Okay. Space bar's my little thing for all that stuff. All right, gotcha. Yeah. There's the window. But this, in here. the space bar brings the command panel. You can, if you want, grab him. I'm yep, going to have a I got look him. here. All right. I'm going to crouch, so I'm not taking him. Yeah. All Through right. Through the window that we came in, because there's Okay. Yep. Because there's a fire out there. <laughs> and if you go with a squad. Oh, wait. The I first thing. Yeah, I'll just stand up and turn I see. Gotcha. The first thing that you learn as a firefighter when you do your S300 fire ground course is two in, two out, always. Okay. That way nobody's Firef stuck inside. Exactly. Fire How do you turn the flashlight on? Sport. F probably? Yep. F. F is the flashlight. That's cool. And you need it. If you don't have your flashlight on inside, it's getting dark. Oh, that's amazing. You can't run with people on your back, so we know nope. that. Alright, I gotta take this out to the ambulance, which is on the right. Oh, I'm hitting garbage bags like a dummy. Uh, yeah, there they are over there. See, I know I'm supposed to do this because I did the intro mission. Mm hmm Now I know. All right. So, yeah, I see at the top right corner, we got one and two. So, those are our two guys and what they're doing currently. All right. Place the victim here. All right. I need to get an attack line, don't I? All right. So, we got that. I'm going to show you something else there here quickly. Uh, now, remove the cap. Attach yep. the line. Okay. Not on the big... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, then I screwed you, that up. Then you grab the nozzle here. Oh, actually, I'm going to grab that nozzle for you. And you, now look at me. This is the amazing thing. Oh, wow. I can I actually can give it to you. Yep. All right. I'm going to grab that. That is really cool. Couple that. All right. I got my tack line now. Yep. There you go. All right. I'm going to get on the... Get on it here. I do like the uh, water. That's cool. Oh, yeah. All right, get on down here. And, and without the stupid quench indicator. Well, sorry, they shouldn't say stupid quench indicators because they yeah. do make sense, but... Yeah, but I see what you, uh, what you can do now. And so is there any reason to sweep, do any certain patterns, or do you just hold it in one spot? Um, actually, the fire propagation system is as such that it will, when you sweep, you will have a faster, okay. faster response on that uh, 
And nice. uh, if you go on top, like, I'm gonna show you that when, once we have another mission where we actually on the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we have to go on the inside on this one too, but now we're gonna take care of the outside a little bit first. I don't see you anywhere. Oh, you're up there on the bucket. Yep. Look at that. That is, that is why I love my T-Rex. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, that makes sense. Uh, do you have a... Um, I see all the options on the left, but there is no uh, first person view when you're on foot. Um, I don't think there is one yet, no. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm just gonna just keep a constant attack on it right now. Oh, we're slowly getting in there. I'm gonna it blow looks like windows the, out. Yeah, it looks like the fire is spread though. Oh yeah, it's to the spreads. left. It also rolls. If you don't watch it and you are inside, that's what I'm gonna show you later is uh, once we are on the inside, the fire mm -hmm. will actually roll over you and ignite wow. stuff behind you again. So that's, that's amazing. That's called the rollover, and you really want to prevent that from happening. Also, why do I... Yeah. <laughs> My quench indicators. Now you guys seen it. Quench indicator on, quench indicator off. All right, I'm trying to keep this contained over here on the left. It's proven to be a little difficult. Yeah, eventually we'll have to get inside. There's nothing that we can do from the outside anymore. I do love, though, that the AIs, they yep. will proceed on their own. Like, even if you give them no command whatsoever, they will eventually they thing. will start an interior attack. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. If you just get too, uh, too focused. I, I love the water effects. I absolutely yep. love the water effects. They're nice. All right. Well, I'm ready. So we just need to Oops. get the front foot down first so we can get in. Do you want to run the bucket for a moment? Yeah let, me, yeah, let me take that over. All right. Appreciate it. Enter the basket. There we go. That. All right. Now we got control of it. So move her on up. Whoa. Look at that. If you hold shift, you just move the basket arm. Okay. That makes sense. Um, all right. So nozzle control C. And then I have nozzle control. Whoa. <laughs> that, no, you, that's awesome. <laughs> now you know why the T-Rex is my favorite. Yep, Boy. that makes sense. Wow. And and later on, I didn't know that either, but later on you actually fight multi-story fires. I just unlocked my first one and that that's when it gets hectic. Wow. Okay. This this is awesome. It's also once we get inside, if you can help it, leave the the doors closed as much as you can because that will really really help you. You know what? Uh, if check. all right, 360 check. Bedroom. Fires burning no in the front bedroom. No access through either window. Here, I'm gonna yeah, come yeah. down off the off the ladder here. If you want to grab another attack line, then we're gonna go in the. Uh, in the building. Yes, and, I'm ready for that. But it's so nice that you have to do... Well, I mean, there's still steps that you usually need, like flushing the hydrant, blah, blah, blah. But, mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, there's only so much realism, and then it just becomes overwhelming for non for a new person, yeah. yeah. That makes That's sense. The thing. They are probably going in from the front now. We're going to go in the back. If you turn your lamp or uh, your, your flashlight off and you are not crouched, then it's getting really dark really quick. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see that. Wow, that's cool. All right, flashlight okay. on. I'm crouching. So, this one here is safe to open. If there would be, and you've probably seen that in the intro, the backdraft. Yep, I haven't seen uh, an, a backdraft yet. No. Nope. So, backdraft indicators are, this is completely charred. The whole um, the whole door is black, like okay. the bottom here. And you have uh, you have smoke that's on the, on the, on the lower part. Mm-hmm. Like around here where my water is right now yep. there would be smoke and then you have also a pulsing sound in behind okay. the door and, and that's, that's modeled a, that is modeled whoa, whoa. and here we go yep that sucker came right out on you there wow yeah if you look inside now you can see how the fire really rolls along the the ceiling roof. yeah that's, that's incredible that's what you want to get down because that's what you call a rollover. If that comes slowly rolling over you and starts fire behind you, then you are in trouble. I got gotcha. you. For the sake of the video, I'm not shaking my uh, camera around too much. All right. We're slowly pushing it back to where we can get in there. 
It's just taking a minute. All right. Yep. We're able to get in at least now. Whoa. I got your back. Yeah. Don't step into the fire. Yep. I'm <laughs> seeing that. I saw my, uh, my health bar pop up at the bottom right there. It was scary. Yeah. Wow. This is insane for us. Like, <laughs> this is the bedroom. Well, we, I see the bed honest, over there. To be honest with you, I, uh, like I said, and I know we get those comments. I have them too. It would be a defensive one at this point. You just make right, sure just that nothing go. else. Yeah, let her go. Let her go down. But that's where you can tell that the developers are from Europe. Mm -hmm. Because for them, with the brick buildings, it takes a lot longer before they switch to defensive. Because, well, they just can rescue more. Can, uh, right, that makes sense. Save more than what we can. So with this our, is a wooden structure, clearly. Yeah. I don't think it's a block home. I don't know what's in California. A lot of more block homes than wooden homes, but this looks like a wooden structure for the most part. All right, I'm pushing the fire back this way. I like the That's challenge that the fire brings you, though. It's not like uh, it doesn't seem like you're kind of God compared to it. Yeah. Oh, no, no. The yeah, fire. Respect it. Definitely. And this that's where I find, uh, yeah, I know there, there were comments already that it's not as open world as people would like it to be. But you know what? The experience on those locations is always a different one because right, different like this. Once you have them unlocked, they become random missions. So, and like the dev said, um, <laughs> even the developers like to play those because you never know what you get. Right. It Man, yeah. Starts. I just had this fire roll over me. Like I know yeah. what you're talking about now. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to get the bed out. I'm getting this whole corner section cleared out yeah we we have uh, the ai just joined us so uh, now we're gonna start making progress here oh yeah they're in here and, with us and they came on their own like i did not order yeah. them all of a sudden they are just here but you can at any time you can order and you can also i can show you that uh if you want we can do another one after this mm -hmm. um and Woo. you can uh, got there it. we go debriefing Nicely done. All right, so this is what happens after you're done. You have a uh, little mission breakdown here, the debrief. Yep. There's our driving, driving time, time mission time. Yeah. Batting down Not the hatches, bad. burning news, unlocked. So I, this is how you unlock more missions. Yeah. We're on route to scenes. Okay, the physics aren't bad at all. Like, the truck's got some roll to it. Yep. I, like, I can see the fire out in the distance. Oh, that guy is actually smoking us right now. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's he's gunning. He is on his way. And we have headlights, emergency lights, and all that stuff. That's cool. And the siren's just automatic. It switches on yep. its own. You don't have to do anything there. Whoa, there's a lot of roll to it. So this is Astragon, and they're the ones who uh, did the bus sim. Do they have a lot of involvement in this game? Um, they just the actually, publisher? it's it's more the, the they are just the publishers. But uh, yeah. the developers, since this was licensed by Rosenbauer, they had they got all the information from them. Like the background it's work that those guys did, like yeah, the four years of development. Oh, we are smoking the ladder truck now. I'm trying to pass him. He won't let me. <laughs> Dude, you're holding no. this up. I'm going for it. No, nope, we got cars coming. We got cars. Coming. Dude, out of the way. Well, no. hold, hold your line. I'm Still holding there. my line. I'm holding my line. <laughs> there we go. Clear. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the, the physics on it are pretty darn good. I think I have yeah. the... Um, I'm getting used to the physics, but I have the indicators on it. I don't know how to turn them off. I don't know, bumpers or something. I don't know. First time. And the sounds are pretty good, too. Like, yeah, the, they are. the engine sounds. Woo. I make a right turn here, it looks like. The way down. No, who cares about the stop sign? We'll just roll over that. Like honestly, I'm. It's more of the camera than it is the actual physics of the yeah. the truck. And look at that. That looks beautiful. That palm tree like that. Like, the map is not bad at all. All the way, people. Oh, we are sailing through this area. 61 miles per hour on a side street like this <laughs> in a fire truck. <laughs> Seems safe. Yep, seems a little safe, doesn't it? And the gas station there, that's cool. 
I like the little uh, 3D map on the bottom right. Yes. It helps, for sure. All right, let's go down here. We're good. All right, almost on scene here. All right, let's slow it on down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have an indicator on here, the clicking of it. All right, they want us right here by the hydrant. You got it. That's what we're going to do it. Right there. All right. We are here. Beautiful. Let's do it. There's an ambulance here. We got the uh, T-Rex there. Well, that's not a T-Rex. It's a different nope. one. That's a Viper. A Viper. Gotcha. On my way up there. Oh, look there's a fire in inside the house. Look inside here. Oh, whoa. Yep. There's a fire in there. I'm going to check the door. Uh, missing like tool. I need to get a tool for that. We're just doing our 360 right now. Uh, yep, looks like the living room is on fire. Uh, this is the same house as last time, isn't it? Just with another story. Nope, it's a little bit different. Oh, okay, I got you. Yep. The, whoa, nice. That is the uh, kitchen uh, there. What I love is you can drop the tool oh, wherever lady you in there. want. Lady. Oh, yeah. Let me get her out of here. You need to get out. Follow. Is she going to come out here with me? Yep, whoa, nice. Oh, it's a dude. <laughs> We're in California. It, like, from behind, it looks like a uh, like an old lady, I but know, it's a I, surfer I, dude. Oh man! Exactly the same. That I, that's why I didn't say anything because I was like, "Oh, sorry, sir." <laughs> oh, <laughs> he followed me back in. Nice. All yeah, right, you have to bring him away. to the ambo. Over here, dude. Yeah, take your time with your penny loafers on. My God. <laughs> there you go. Victim is safe. Sweet. All right. So I need to get a Halligan, don't I? A uh, Halligan axe. I'll uh, do the axe on this one. Demo we'll bust hog. the front door down. I see a little ladder all set up there. Our boys do that. Or you're up there already doing that. No, I'm going up there because we have two more victims up here. Oh, I am axing that. Command, I found a survivor. Oh my god, it sounds terrible in there. Oh, uh, that's my guy screaming when he throws the axe, by the way. Oh my god, that fire came right out in my face whoa i'm gonna yeah. get an attack all right well one of our guys is already getting an attack line so we're good on that all right nozzle and attack that to that there we go all right i got my line set up oh you're just saving lives aren't you just saving lives yep all right we're about to go in we got our guy working on the front of the house right now i'm gonna help him out Unconscious victim, nicely done there, Alex. Nicely done. All right, let's get some water in the living room here. So this hasn't spread to the out to the uh, exterior of the home yet. That's no, this that's is cool. still on Dude, the you interior. have a bunch of. This guy's gonna die. Move back. But yeah, I can tell now. I I have unlocked obviously a little bit more than you did. On yeah, I can definitely tell the missions get successively more challenging. Yeah. Not necessarily more complex, but definitely more challenging with the fire and the extent of the fire and so on yep. and so forth. I'm going to go up the ladder. Yeah, the, the uh, host physics are interesting. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. Oh, oh nice. Wait. No, I'm just... I don't. Oh, I dropped uh, the tool down. Oh, no, Hi there. Let me go. Hi traverse. there, fire. No, traverse the window. There we go. Oh, whoa, look at that. The bubbling on the paint here. That's cool. All right, let me get in here. Oh, we are fighting the fire in this hallway. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, the char effects of the wall and everything, I, it's just nice. Well, yeah, and on the right side of that room, the, the paint was, like, bubbling up. It wasn't even charred mm -hmm. yet. That's really I'm cool. I'm just going to blow those windows out quickly. Yep. That yeah. is cool. You can do that. They don't have any That's... little Easter eggs hidden in here or anything. They just have red... Uh, Rosy Reds, that's the name of the uh, fire, the uh, laundry detergent, if you're wondering. Rosy Reds. Rosy Reds. Well, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, this is working out well. We're going down here. Well, I'm pretty sure this was not the last fire that we fought here. No, absolutely not. But if you look right on top, you can really see how... Oh, if you stop for a second, yeah. you can really see how the fire is going to start rolling along the ceiling. and it's Oh, gonna yeah, I'm seeing that. Lay up again. Wow, that's the smoke detectors. Whoa, somebody's a got a saw. Did. A lot of good they did. 
<laughs> well, yeah, one of them's got a saw. I heard that. Wow. Even with your flashlight on, you can't see a lot. Nope. This is crazy. All right, buddy. I'm coming down here to help you. Okay. Yeah. There's the fire that's rolling into where we were just a minute ago. Right along these curtains. Well, who puts curtains up right there into another room? It's like a closet. I don't know. Maybe those aren't curtains. No, they look like curtains. Uh, those are definitely like curtains. curtains. That's interesting. Yeah. Look at their decor while we're fighting their fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why Interior would you do that? And oh, then we fighters. found the problem here. Looks like it might have been an electrical fire. Uh, I maybe think, not. I think this one is nope. off already. Yeah, nothing there. All right, the guys are doing their thing. What's the other guy doing out there? He's doing nothing. Green's doing nothing. Oh, well, all the minium. There you go. He's going to go do it now, it looks like, finally. No, he's just going to stand there and look at me. Dude, fight fire. Ow. Fight yes, fire. Sir. Yep, no, you got it. He's all right, go he's going and out the there line. to get it now. Yep, I just had to get it on, on the fire. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. This fire just came out of the corner on on top of me here. That was scary. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. All right, we're good now. Let's keep doing yes, our... sir. yes, sir. Okay, boss, I'll put that fire out. Good. Do it. I'm just standing out there like an idiot next to the fire truck the entire time. All right, looks like he has the one to the right there. We're just going to focus on the kitchen here, it looks like. Or the dining room. Looks like a dining room. This is a nice house. It was, yeah. It was. <laughs> it was a nice house. <laughs> this thing is done for, dude. And this is another defensive fire as well. You just let her go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At this no, point. No fixing any of it. Oh, look who decided to show up finally. My Lord, dude. Who is that? Oh, that's somebody on a motorcycle or something out there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I thought in the beginning I was like, oh, they must be starting to cut the roof off or something. Yeah, no, it's a motorcycle. No. Really? Dang motor scooter being an idiot out there while we're trying to fight a fire. Man, I'm trying to get the ceiling taken care of here so it doesn't keep rolling back on us because it's been doing it like over and over in this room. Yeah. Me and this guy are working on it. The other guy's working down that hallway, so that's good news. Yeah, one thing uh, that I learned during the interview was too that they have the visual part of the fire is on one uh, on one core of your processor. Yeah. And uh, all the math for the actual fire physics and water physics and so on and so forth is completely on a separate core. So that's why it's oh, so, okay. so it's... nicely on the performance. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 performing absolutely brilliantly. They spent the last nine months, is what he told me, was just optimization of the. Um, no, the optimization of the netcode so that the multiplayer is working smoothly. Yeah, because it looks really good. The multiplayer does. I am pretty happy with that. All right, that's yeah. out. Moving up. Let's say goodbye to that bureau or whatever that was there on the right. It's gone forever. Old antique. Here we All go right. again with this nonsense. All right, this fire in this room is out. We're going to head over there where you are. You're still... Oh, man. Yep. Still blazing down there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's out. Oh, this is the bathroom. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep there's the fire. It's behind that door hanging out. We're good, though. Have you died in this game yet? Yep. Okay. <laughs> So it can't happen. Oh man, we just oh, spray forever out into the neighbors. Yeah, no more fire in here. It looks like it's out. Somewhere. I hear it raging like a Cajun. Oh, it might be in this uh, hallway where this guy was. Yep, back in here. In the office. Oh no, it's somebody's bedroom. It was like it's got bunk beds. Oh, good. That thing's toast. Well, kids. Objective complete. Well, that's another thing is that you debrief immediately. It'd be nice if you could just, you know, put everything away. Yeah, I, I would like an overhaul where you have to rip open walls. Yeah. To, uh, rip down the ceiling to make sure that you have all the... And then get a fan out and fan it out. Yep, exactly. All that stuff. 
Well, folks, that's going to do it for this first look at Firefighter Simulator. Uh, the squad, right? Yep, the squad. Yep, that's right. Big Fire. thanks to Northern Alex for joining me on this. Thank you for uh, showing me the multiplayer. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. I really um, enjoy this, and it's, it's really well done. Like, it's yeah. just really well done, so hats off to them. Uh, it comes out tomorrow, so check it out on Steam. Um, not a sponsored video or anything. I'm just uh, happy to be playing it. And thank you to Alex for getting a hold of the dev to get me a key to play this early. That's what I wanted to say. Duh. Uh, but <laughs> that'll do it. Check out Alex's uh, channels below in the description. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.